one thing that he said has been a huge emphasis in her game. Well, the little ball through here and Rodman will get on to the end of it. Hatch is there in the middle. It's Hatch with a chance. It's Hatch with a goal. The late replacement in the starting lineup for Alex Morgan. And she scores to make it 1-0 at Eden Park. Goal number five of her international career. And the United States with the first half lead. So very fitting that it falls to Trinity Rodman, who really started this all by winning that ball back one play earlier. And what a beautifully placed bent ball in to Ashley Hatch, who stays in an onside position and hits that so well. She made it look easy. Naylor coming out, cutting the angle. Comes back out for Huerta on the right side. And that's a decent cross all the way towards the ball. It's two, seven minutes before half time, and Rose Laval, captain for the night, gets the goal. Uh, New Zealand is thinking if only we can get into halftime and keep this game at one, then possibly we can keep this game close. And there's Sophia, Sophia Huerte finding Rose Lavelle. Totally lost on that backside by the two center backs for New Zealand. They both get caught ball watching. Rose slips in on the backside, hits it well enough to get past Naylor. Cook. A high ball forward to the far side as Fox is pushing forward and up against Liz Anton. It's a decent cross into the middle. Robin couldn't get there, but then Swanson can. What a start to the year it has been for Mallory Swanson. And it is 3-0 just after half time. And she gets her third goal of this World Cup year in just the second match of 2023. All starts with Alana Cook with the ball into Fox. As we know, Fox loves to get forward. And when she's faced up, has the confidence to play a ball like that in. And the deflection off the Rodman shot just falls perfectly to Swanson, who puts herself in a position. Give her credit. She comes around, finds the rebound. Closes that goal out and make, make no mistake from that distance, she's going to slot that up for me. You knew Swanson didn't want to get off this field without getting one. Swanson getting it backwards, Korniak playing the ball over the top and Lynn Williams giving chase as the ball comes in for Laval! She's got another one! Rose Laval, two goals on the night! Williams with the chase. She thought at first that Korniak had put that in too far. Naylor decides to stay on her line, and it's a cross to Rose Lavelle. New Zealand unable to pick her up again, and Rose Lavelle, who finds herself completely unmarked, Ward unable to slide over, and to not in a position. Didn't even hit it right, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. It all counts the same. This week. Lavelle with two goals, gets this one in towards the back post. And it's five goals as Taylor Korniak scores. Not surprising. The main aerial target for the United States as soon as Korniak gets on the field is that player herself. Taylor Korniak so good in the air with her height and her ability, and if you're New Zealand, you've got to put players on her. No one on that back post following her. Hot ball watching again. Because she is just so dangerous. Cuts in, comes out, creates a little bit of space. And an easy finish for Taylor Korniak.